Hello and welcome to Matt's Mosh Pit, and tonight I'm going to be checking out Raining Stars by Lord of the Lost. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me and my channel so far. It truly means a lot, and I could not do this without you. So folks, as you know, if you've been following this channel, I'm becoming a huge fan of Lord of the Lost. Uh, I have tickets to see him in September. I am super excited. You can definitely count on me vlogging from the show. Um, and I've been, you know, definitely checking their videos out and learning more a lot about them. But I have been, I was recently reminded in one of the comments that I need to get back into the Lord of the Lost um, videos. I feel like I was, I, I feel like I've done a decent amount of them. But I was told in the comments, you know, I need to, you know, get back and learn as much as I can before the show. So for you who left the comment and you know who you are, um, it, it sounds like I'm mattering. I'm not. I, you know, I love the comment. And actually, we had a really great back and forth. So there's no animosity, anything like that. And once again, I love this band at this point. So you really don't have to twist my arm to get me to check out some more from them. So um, I'm very excited, too. And they had suggested Raining Stars. And so, yeah, you know, Lord of the Lost, Raining Stars. Just, no, I love the band at this point. Um, I don't know the song. So it's going to be preparation for seeing them live. I hope it's one of the songs that they play live. So anyway, that's all I can say. I actually shouldn't say I hope it's one of the songs because what if it's not a good song? I haven't found a bad song from them, so I shouldn't have even said that. So it's probably going to be a great song. And yeah, I do hope they play it live without even knowing what it is. So let's go ahead and just check it out right now. Raining Stars by Lord of the Lost. I have to read this stuff, which is interesting because every time you see this in like a movie or something like that, I always read it and I think to myself, man, that is deep. But I never remember it. Like literally as soon as they get to like whatever the movie is or whatever gets started, you could ask me what that quote is and I will not remember it. I'm telling you right now, like I'm looking at it right now and I could read it and go, man, that was deep. But by the end of this video, I'm going to have no idea what that quote was prior. Am I the only way or is you guys like this too? But yeah, I appreciate it. Like they always try to like tip me off and I feel like it's like a tip off into what I'm about to see. But I don't ever remember these quotes, you know, even if it was a quote that I said, you know, um, yeah, it would be like, um, 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 signed by Matt's mosh pit. So anyway, that's just me. If I was leaving a quote, it'd just be a bunch of ums and probably stupidity. Like, I don't think I can come up with a great quote, but anyway, I've rambled on enough. Let's just get right into it. Stranger Things.
to fight you Slow motion horror was everywhere Your safety was my only care And then I catch you As all the terrified people run Two silhouettes become one The sky the deepest red The sun the bleakest black We hold each other in tail The final act A movement grabbed me Clad in a velveteen cloak and hood Streaming fear and weeping blood Well, let them panic We're hypnotized from above I should say, I have to, like, I have to say um, Chris Harms from The Lead Singer that dude could sing anything. He could sing anything and it's going to be great. Like, I, I can't, like, I don't, it's just the style. There's something about his vocal style that for me just will always work. Like, like literally he could be singing a song that's like, I hate Matt's mosh pit. It's the worst stupid YouTube video channel ever. You know, whatever it is, it could be all of that. And I'm going to love it. I'm just going to like, his vocal style is just fantastic. So um, it's creepy. It's weird. I'm definitely getting like a kind of like a Stranger Things vibe because it's got that like 80s synth to it. The only thing that's kind of thrown me off a bit is, and I I don't know, and you guys can tell me in the comments, like because I'm hoping it's not like on the album, but like when they're, they put a VHS in and there's like a little bit of a warble or whatever, like something like a wrinkle in the tape or whatever, it kind of like blurs out the audio a little bit. I'm hoping that's not in like the actual album and it's only for this particular video. Cause that's a little off putting, but, um, the, the song itself is pretty cool. And it, with Lord of the Lost, I never know what to expect. It's a complete expect the unexpected situation. So, um, cool so far. No time, no time for fear, just fall in love. The sky, the deepest red. The sun, the bleakest black. All worlds are worthless now. There's no way back. thing i want to point out is like the makeup on this band is always like on point like if i ever had a chance to talk to them i definitely like i'm hoping i get to talk to them when they're here um maybe they'll hang out with people after the show i don't know but it would be super cool because i'm fascinated by the makeup because a lot of bands like you look at like bands like kiss right like they wear makeup all the time but they wear like the same makeup and they like, so Gene Simmons has done that exact same thing for 50 years or whatever it is. And yet every single time I see Lord of the Lost, they're all done up completely different. And, and it's kind of like, I want to know, like, do they have meetings where they go, okay, everybody tonight, we're going to be, you know, all black up to here, white here, you know, like, and it, it's all different, but it's like, who styles them? Like, I have to know, like, how do they, like, 
how do they come up with whatever the look is for like, do they have a different look each tour or album cycle or like, I'm fascinated by this. Like, like, I know it has nothing to do with the music in its own right, but it just seems to me that every time that I've seen them, they have a different, completely different look from a makeup perspective. And there has to be like a, like, we're, hey, everybody, we're having a band meeting, you know, tonight, you know, let's just do, you know, gray up here, you know, triangles and all kinds of crazy stuff. So anyway, I don't know. That's just what goes through my head when I'm watching this stuff. The sky, the team is red. The sound, the bleak is black. Each second hours to share. So make them less. No one can do. is credits and I'm going to miss something so I think I'm just going to let the credits roll because maybe there's some big gotcha at the end and you guys if I if I stopped it would go you know hey you missed the big reveal so let's kind of see what's up so far it's just credits so maybe there's no big reveal Although I can't imagine what a big reveal would be in this case, actually. So maybe there isn't. Um, just credits, it looks like. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Um, that was Raining Stars by Lord of the Lost. And um, what can I say that I haven't already said a bunch of times? Um Chris, the lead singer, has an amazing voice. It just works for me. It's it, Like I said, he could sing anything, and I'm most likely going to love it. The um, song itself was, I swear, everything I hear from them is it's always different. It's There's never, you know, the same song over and over and over with them from what I've seen so far. So I'm very, very excited to see them live. And actually, you know what? Folks, I was talking about the makeup earlier in the video. I need your help. If you've seen Lord of the Lost live before, like a headlining show, I want to make it clear, like a headlining show, not necessarily, like I know they opened up for Iron Maiden a couple times, and so I'm assuming the fans that were at those shows were there strictly for like Iron Maiden. So I'm talking like a Lord of the Lost headline show, you know, what was the crowd like? 
Like, do I need to like, I, I don't know. I kind of dress normally for the most part. If you ever see me out and about, you're going to see probably jeans and a t-shirt and you know, I'm some sort of band shirt, something like that. But, um, you know, I don't think I dress crazily or anything like that. I definitely usually don't put makeup on or anything like that for a show, but like at a Lord of the Lost show, like, what is the crowd? Like, does the crowd dress up? Is there, like, a thing that I should be aware of? Like, I don't want to go to the show and, like, everybody else is, like, dressed super cool and, and funky. Like, I'm expecting it to look like, you know, like that in Hunger Games. Like, you know, the, the big city, like, the main city where they do all the Hunger Games, where everybody's living life and they have different color hair and different color everything. Like, I guess that's what I'm kind of expecting the crowd to look like. Um, so with that being said, I don't know that I look like that. So am I going to stand out if I'm just, you know, jeans and a concert shirt or something like that? So, you know, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Like, what do I need to do to prepare? So, folks, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. If you have hit the subscribe button, thank you very much. Um, it truly means a lot. That's pretty much it, as far as I can tell. And with that being said, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.